Welcome to this training video where we're going to be looking at the new reports within our Access APS NZ Tax in the cloud. In this training video, we're going to look at how to generate the reports, how to open and download the reports, showing how we regenerate the reports when changes have been made, and also how to delete reports that are no longer required. So let's head over to our tax return and take a look at the reports. Here we are in the client's return. In this scenario, we've completed the return and now I want to run the reports. So I've got them sat under the client's IR3 ready for review. To generate the reports, we come down to documents and reports under the details tab and we simply select generate reports. I can then choose to select other reports in here if I've got a transfer summary to look at or a payment schedule summary as well. But by default, the top three will be ticked and we're going to tick this one as well because I think I did do a transfer in this IR3. Then we hit generate reports. If we don't want to generate the reports at this time, just select cancel and you'll go back to the details tab in the tax return. Once the reports have been generated, the list down here under the documents and reports part of the details screen, you'll see the last generated date of the report the document type and the description of the report as well. One thing to note when generating the reports is that they don't currently auto update when you've made changes to the return. But if we look at this message up here, we are working on creating auto generated reports and they will be coming later in a future release. In this first release, once you've generated the reports and then you've made changes in the tax return, you'll just need to come and simply click generate reports again and it will override these reports and regenerate the new figures into the reports for you. So let's first take a look at the IR3 tax detail. In the first release on the reports, they currently won't have the detail from the IR833 and the IR215, but please note that is being worked on and the detail will be coming into the reports very soon. To open the report, you click this view document icon. This will then open the report just like a PDF generated report in a different tab. Here we've got the IR3 tax detail and that's listed all the things in each key point just as we've listed it through the tax return. You will notice that there's a draft watermark on this report and there's a draft watermark on all the reports until that return is ready to lodge. From here, if you did want to download the report and save it into a folder, you could just simply download this into your downloads folder and then grab it from your files on your computer. To view the other documents, you just come and do the same thing. And again, it just opens in the tab. So here we've got our income and tax summary. We've also got our transfer summary for this IR3. And then our tax declaration, which is the page that we'll get the client to sign. We've run our reports and now I want to run an additional report. To do this, I just come back to the reports and select to generate reports. Then I have the option to untick reports that I don't need regenerating. And I can tick the report that I'd like to include. So in this scenario, I'm now going to generate the payment schedule summary report. This report has now been added to my reports table at the date that it was generated. Let's take a look at the report by hitting view document. So this is our payment schedule summary. This report is listing by due date any transfers done in the return and any payments due for PROV and terminal tax. And this order by due date is to keep it simple for your clients so they know what to pay and when. So moving back into our documents and reports. As I mentioned before, any changes would be updated when we generate the reports again. So for example, in the IR3 tax detail, let's change this gross earnings from 70,000 to 90,000 and regenerate the reports. So going back up to income, pulling the employee income down and just quickly changing that figure and saving the return. When I then go back to detail and generate those reports and they'll regenerate in here for us. I can then open the IR3 tax detail and you'll see that that regeneration has also brought in any changes that we've made in the tax return. And as mentioned, that will become more automatic as we do future releases in improving documents and reports. As you saw, regenerating the reports overrode the report. I didn't need to go in and delete the report to regenerate. 
If for any reason you did want to delete the report because you no longer needed it on the file, then you can come to this icon here on the right, Manage Document. You can either from here view the document or you can choose to delete it. To delete the document, there are a few steps, but again, this will be improved on future release. You select to delete the document and then you hit this delete icon underneath. Clicking OK does not delete the document at this point in time. You do need to select delete again, then you'll get a message to say that that's been successfully deleted. Upon refreshing the screen, you will then be able to see that that document has indeed been deleted from the list. Now we saw that the documents had draft watermarks on there. So now let's take this tax return as ready to lodge. So we'll send it for approval and then we'll approve that return. So now the return is sat at ready to lodge. When I go and run those reports again in here, so we'll just again regenerate those reports. And I view the report. You'll now see that that draft watermark has been removed and they're ready to get sent out to clients for signing. When you're working in documents and reports and you are doing these processes that I'm showing on this video, if you've got any feedback or any enhancement requests, then please feel free to send them to your customer success manager who will forward them on to product. We are super keen to improve this product as quick as we can. And we've got some great ideas, but we also want to get them from you as well. Thank you for watching this training video where we looked at how to generate reports, opening and downloading the reports, regenerating the reports and also how to delete the reports.